Let's do a quick overview of the Solver Draft Assistant. So if you click on Settings, it'll pull up the sidebar here, and that'll show us things like the draft format it supports, which is NFL Season Best Ball, NFL Sprint Season, and then we have Limited Support for Superflex, Eliminator Weekly Winners, and Marathon. If you've purchased player rankings from Established Run for NFL Best Ball, those will automatically sync with your account. Otherwise, you can use whatever you've uploaded to Underdog or DraftKings or just the player ADPs. Now we can see that there are these sliders, which you can use to customize and create your personal draft strategy. Things like player ADP weight, team stacking importance, and then your playoff week importance. You can also set position limits to better control roster construction. Solver scores are what drives the recommendations, and they're influenced by player rankings, projections, and ADPs, as well as your current team composition and draft allocation, as well as whatever weight you put to each of these sliders here. There's options to color code player cells. The draft banner will show you best available players, your future picks, and it'll also show you options to boost or dock certain positions, and these will save locally to the draft you're on. You can toggle all sorts of indicators on or off. The tool also displays exposure next to the player's names. The draft capital widget shows you the draft capital allocation you've put into players, as well as target ranges. The playoff matchups widget shows the teams that your players play in the week 15, 16, and 17 best ball playoffs. Lastly, there's an option to display ETR rankings as well. Once you've completed a draft, a draft capital report will automatically pop up, or you can manually create them for completed drafts. And these will show you things like ADP value, draft capital value, playoff game stacks, as well as much more. And you can look more into this by going to Best Ball Explorer on thesolver.com. If you have any questions, email us at support at thesolver.com. Thank you.